Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. My name is McKenna Blanthorne and I'm super excited to show you guys how we are going to decorate this cute little purse with some glitter neon heat transfer today. And it's going to match this sweatshirt that I made. Um, so we are kind of making like a little outfit with the shirt and the purse. And it's gonna be super, super fun, very on trend with the bright summer neon. And it's gonna be just a super fun beginner friendly project. Um, and we're just gonna be using the same design today. So that's one way you can use this design. And then we're gonna be using the same exact design ID to embellish the purse as well. And I'm gonna show you how to break it up a little bit um, so that it will look a little bit different, but still coordinate and match. So let's go ahead and get started in our software. All right, so here we are in the Silhouette software, and I do need to change a couple things before we get started. So here I'm gonna open up my page setup panel right here, and I am going to change my um, media size. So I was using letter size paper last time I did a project, but I'm gonna be using 12 by 12 paper today. Um, well, it's not paper, it's heat transfer sheets. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and change that um, to 12 by 12. And I do have a little bit of a corner cut out of this 12 by 12 media, um, but I'm just not gonna worry about it because I'm really only gonna be using like the top half. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that the same. And then we are going to go ahead and come up here to our library where we can find our design. So here in the library, I um, actually sorted it by flower when I was looking for my design. As you guys can see, I have over 1500 files. So I have a lot of files in here. So I just love searching by keyword and I do have a lot of flower designs too, <laughs> but this is the one that I'm looking for. It's called the Retro Flower Border and it is design ID 436702. So you can go ahead and purchase this from the design store. You'll notice that I took the sparkles off um, for the shirt and I only had four flowers because I only had four different colors of heat transfer. So I'm gonna kind of show you how we can customize this design and break it apart for um, what we're gonna be doing. So to open it in our um, file, in our document, that's what I wanted, and we're just gonna double click it and it opens up. And actually this one is super easy because it's already ungrouped. So we can already move these pieces around if we want to. And then just to keep it stylistically the same, I'm actually going to get rid of my sparkles again. So I'm just selecting those and then clicking delete, just clicking and then pressing my delete key on my keyboard. And then I am also just going to use four flowers today as well. Um, just because I have four different colors of heat transfer. If you did have um, five different colors, you could totally use all five, but that's just what I'm gonna do today. Um, so I have a pink color of heat transfer, I have an orange, I have a yellow, greenish yellow, and I have a blue. So I'm gonna get rid of this yellow, and I'm actually not going to change my colors at all. Um, I'm just gonna leave them the same. And then I'm just going to make these a little bit smaller. So right now our flowers are like 3.75, 3.5 inches, but our purse that we're using is actually pretty small. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a ruler and decide how big I wanna make these flowers. And I'm just thinking that we're gonna just cover the whole purse um, front and back in just kind of a collage of the flowers. So because of that, I'm thinking let's go like, one and a half inches. I feel like one and a half inches will be able to fit maybe like six or seven flowers on each side, um, which I feel like is a good amount. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just gonna draw a rectangle over the whole thing and then I'm gonna drag down on the rectangle from the corner. And then I'm just gonna duck, click off of it and then click one of it to see how big it is. It's still 2.5 inches, so I need to go a little bit more. Um, so this is 1.75, let's just make it a tiny bit smaller. So it's just kind of trial and error. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, it's not gonna change the outcome of your project that much. So we have this um, up here now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select like one of my flowers and then I'm gonna copy it three times. So I'm just going to, well, I'll show you a few different ways you can copy and paste. So we're gonna right click and select copy, and then we're going to right click again and select paste. 
and that's one way that you can copy it. Or you can hold down your Alt or Option key on your keyboard and that little plus sign will appear and then you can just drag it out also. So we're just gonna do that. Um, maybe we'll do four of each flower um, just to make sure we for sure have enough. And then I'm just gonna repeat that same process with my other flowers and kind of break them apart. And you will notice these flowers are pretty similar. Um, they're just maybe like turned a little bit differently. Um, so it probably doesn't really matter if you, you could probably just cut the same one four times um, if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna do this just to keep the design simple and to not confuse you guys. So I just went ahead and selected those shapes um, and drew a rectangle over the top of all four and then I just drug them off to the side of my cutting mat. And this is all we have to do in Silhouette Studio to get ready to cut. So now we're ready to cut. Um, so what we need to do is we're just gonna come up to our send panel. All right, so here in the send panel, I have connected to my machine. So the only thing we need to do is we just need to change from cardstock texture to the material we're gonna be using today. So we are using heat transfer. So you can just start typing heat transfer and I'm using a glitter heat transfer today. So I'm just gonna use the standard settings that it defaults to. And now we can just go ahead and load our machine. So this is our kind of yellowish green color. So I am using, um, that one first. And one thing I do need to change, you can cut this on a mat, but I'm also gonna show you that you can cut it off of a mat also. And to do that, we're just going to come over here to cutting mat and select none. So heat transfer and vinyl can both be cut matless um, and paper sometimes as well. Um, and it's a really easy, cool feature that you just don't have to worry about the mat also. So to load this now, I'm just going to um, press the top arrow on the side until it starts blinking and then I'm going to line my material up with this little arrow and line on the side, the gray arrow and line. And when I'm loading, oh, I need to put my little bar down. Oh, so it read it because um, I was holding this over the top. So I'm gonna unload that again. And this bar was just loose because I moved in um, this little roller to cut matless. Um, so I'm just gonna pull that up to tighten the bar again and then press that till it blinks. And then I'm just gonna hold this in place while it pulls in. Perfect. And now we're just gonna go over to our um, software again and then click send. And um, heat transfer does need to be mirrored. Um, for us, it's not a huge deal because we're not cutting letters or anything, but I'm still going to send it as mirrored just because it's a good habit to get into when you're using heat transfer. All right, so our machine just finished cutting. So one thing I like to do before I unload is I just like to take my little hook tool and just make sure that I can pull out um, one of the extra excess parts that I'm not using, and I can. Um, so I'm just going to unload this now by pressing this little downward arrow. And now we are just going to repeat the process with the rest of our files. So I'm gonna drag um, a rectangle over these four yellow flowers and just drag them to this side. And then I'm going to just take the blue ones the same way and drag them onto my um, cutting area again. And then I'll grab my blue heat transfer. And one thing I did forget to mention um, when I was cutting my yellow is that heat transfer does need to be cut upside down. So this is our blue sparkly glitter side, um, but we need to cut it on the back side because you're going to lay it flat and then the back adhesive when it heats up will stick to the purse or whatever item you're using. So. Just make sure that you flip it over and mirror it. Those are the two rules of heat transfer. And then we're just gonna repeat the same thing. It's super easy. And when it comes out, I am just cutting um, 
my pieces into little squares um, or rectangles, um, just the part that I'm using. So then I can just put this back in my bin um, to save for later projects. Okay, this is our pink. So this was our last cut, guys, with our silhouette machine. So the actual cutting of this project literally took us less than like five minutes. Um, so it's a pretty quick beginner friendly project. And if you didn't want to do different colors, you could just do one color of flowers and um, it would be super easy one cut. I think with the pink, the pink sparkly vinyl would be super cute, just kind of a tone on tone look. Um, so that's an option too, if you don't want to use the different colors. Um, and you can see I still have a ton left over. I guess maybe we'll have to do pants next time to complete the whole look, right? And now we're just gonna go ahead and weed these um, flowers that we're using. So I'm just gonna start at the corner. I just am using a silhouette hook tool. And then I'm just going to slowly pull this back. And I think with heat transfer, the um, more you pull it at an angle, the more it will pull nicely. So just pull it slowly and at an angle and then it will come super nicely. Um, I think heat transfer is the most forgiving um, material to use um, for a beginner silhouette user um, because it really does weed very easily and you can do super intricate small things with it even um, without too big of a headache. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw away my excess and here are my little blue flowers. So these ones are wanting to stick a little bit. So what I do is I just take my hook tool and I just press down on the corner um, where I'm gonna weed, which usually does not happen with heat transfer. So I highly doubt you'll have that happen. But if you do, just kind of um, go around it with your hook and it will come out really nice. Mm -hmm. And you'll kind of notice that my fingers are sticking to the back of the plastic and it's because it is slightly sticky, not super sticky, just a little bit. All right, so we went ahead and weeded all of these flowers. So now I'm just gonna lay these kind of on top of here just to show you what they look like. Um, just so you can see how they kind of pop. This would actually be a super cute way to do them if we had made them a tiny bit smaller. Um, we could have just done them in these little stripes like this. That would have been fun. So you can see that there's just so many different ways you can take a single design and change it. 
um, into like another type of design. But today we're just going to be cutting these up and then kind of laying them around sporadically in a collage almost. So I am just going to take my scissors and then cut in between these. And I did put them kind of close together. Um, so that was not my best decision, but just make sure that you go cut them kind of carefully. And I'm just going to layer them about. Um, I think today for the video, I'm just going to show you guys one side. Um, but technically, I was planning on doing both sides. But it's the exact same process um, for both um, sides. And I have left like the tissue paper inside of my bag to keep it kind of firm while I'm cutting it. You don't have to do that. Um, I just think that when you apply, the flatter the surface can be, um, the better off it generally turns out. So that's why I've left the tissue paper and um, everything in my bag just to keep it kind of nice and flat. Um, but then when we're done, I will take out the tissue paper. And if you are curious, the way that, because we didn't film a video tutorial for the shirt, the sweatshirt, but it's the exact same process. Um, so we just cut out the different pieces and then just laid the flowers next to each other and put them on the bags or on the shirt. So it's the same process. All right, and I'm just going to kind of lay these out. We might not be able to do them all at once. Um, we may have to do just a few at a time because we don't want this plastic part to overlap with any of our flowers. It can overlap on the other pieces of plastic, um, but you just don't want it to adhere to the, um, the plastic. And when I am laying things out and I want it to look kind of sporadic, I kind of like to lay it in a pattern like this. So there's two lines of three, but they're kind of offset. So I did that on purpose. And then maybe we'll put another blue one right here. And then let's do another pink one up here. And then let's do an orange. And then lastly, let's do another pink one. All right, so that is what our bag's going to look like in the end. Um, so now we are just going to adhere these on. And as long as our plastic pieces are not overlapping underneath any of the heat transfer material, we can actually do it all at once. So you can see right here, like my um, plastic is overlapping, but this plastic is on top of the pink. So that's not an issue. I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to lay a piece of regular paper on top of this. And this is just to not burn um, my bag. So now I'm just going to take my iron and just press down firmly and just hold it for a few seconds. Um, you'll be able to find your exact heat transfer directions um, on the label of the heat transfer that you purchased. And this is more just a preliminary press just to get them to stick so then I can um, take off the paper and see where we need to press it a little bit more. And it does get pretty hot, so beware of that. Just be cautious. All right, so now I'm just going to see where we're at. Um, so yeah, you can see that things are kind of starting to stick, um, especially these ones in the middle. So now I'm just going to do kind of this bottom portion a little bit more. And this is curved, so I'm just going to kind of round over the bottom portion just to hit it from all sides. Nice. And then let's kind of do this middle portion just one more time, just press down firmly. And 
And then we'll kind of do the top also. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and start to peel these off. And they are hot, so beware. Um, some heat transfers are hot peel and some are cool peel. So depending on which one you buy, you just want to make sure to read and um, make sure that you're not supposed to let it cool completely before you peel. So just make sure of that. All right, so now that we have finished, I like to just do one more um, press with the iron. So I'm just going to lay this on top and just give it a nice little press. And you do not want to lay your iron directly on your heat transfer because it will most likely melt if you do that. So just make sure you always have at least a piece of paper. Like I said, parchment paper works great or like a little cheesecloth or dish towel, um, anything like that. All right, guys, and then um, you can go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. Um, we'll just go ahead and do the other side, and I'll just do maybe a little bit different because I don't have quite as many flowers. Um, so I'm just going to lay these out. Maybe spread them out a little bit more. these again. Same thing though. Just go ahead and press down. And you could even do like two different designs, one on the front and one on the back. So then you could kind of have like two different purses if you wanted to. You could put your name on the back. That would be kind of fun. Just some fun different options. would also be a super fun project with kids to make like a backpack or a birthday gift for their friend, something like that. And this um, final shot at the end, your directions probably won't say to do this necessarily, um, but I've just found that when I do it, my design sticks for much longer. All right, so there is the back side. Here's the front side. I'm going to go ahead and um, take out the stuff on the inside. So yeah, this is what I left in there just for the pressing purposes, um, but you could totally um, take it out if you want to, or if you're using a bag that doesn't have that in it, don't worry about it either. And it does have some in the sides as well, but I just want you to be able to see the bag full. I'm just gonna throw away all of my excess, and then this is the final product. So I will put it up by the mannequin with the sweatshirt as well so you guys can see the two pieces together. But I think this is a super fun project. Um, it's really, really easy and beginner friendly. I hope you guys could see how beginner friendly it is. Um, and I think that there's so many possibilities um, with what you could do. Maybe if you're going on a beach trip, you could do some fun seashells on a beach bag or something like that. So this is what it looks like with the mannequin. There we go. Perfect. Awesome, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I had so much fun making this project with you, and I hope that you'll tune in to the rest of our videos for more silhouette tutorials so you can learn how to make fun crafts just like this. So see you next time.